That's it. That's working. <laughs> that Hello. Hello. <laughs> Right, shall I, so, shall I, shall I ask you about you? Okay. <laughs> so, who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm Karen. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed now. Maybe we should start again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, we need to talk to Karen and go, Hi, we're Mrs. Moon. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we're Mrs. Moon. <laughs> I'm Karen. I'm Susan. We're sisters. Yep. And uh, we thought you might like just to know a little bit more about us. We thought you might like to see the faces of Mrs. Moon and this is, this is us. So we thought we might start a little series of videos talking about us, what we do. Yep. So Karen is, um, Karen does all the knitting. I do. And, Su I do and all the crochet. Susan does all the crochet. But we can very both. exciting. We can both knit and crochet. We can, yes, yes. Which we think is quite important. Mm -hmm. It's quite handy for us that one of us is better at knitting mm -hmm. and exactly. one is better at crochet. Yeah, exactly. It works quite well. So, do you want to, what do you want to say to where we live and stuff like that? Yeah. So, so we, we live in Twickenham. We live quite close to each other in Twickenham, and we work out of Karen's house, which is this is this is my kitchen. kitchen. And then we have a um, we have a big unit uh, near the rugby stadium where we keep all our wool don't we we, we pack do. all our orders so our big orders there neither of us drive so we spend quite a lot of time walking mm -hmm. to and from a aforementioned rugby yes. stadium we do do a lot of walking uh, so if you're ever driving up and down the A316 in Twickenham you might you might see us mm -hmm. exactly very yeah. exciting it very is exciting. yeah it's pretty it's quite often raining mm -hmm. um, yeah um, we've been doing this for 10 years now yeah, we. What do we do? We started off. Um, well, I suppose we. I guess maybe we should talk about ourselves a bit. So we both got four children, mm -hmm. and I've got three boys and a girl. I've got uh, two, two of each. Mine are. Oh yeah. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen on Sunday, mm -hmm. and fourteen. Mm -hmm. And Susan's are. Uh, eighteen, um, sixteen. 14 and 12. and 12 and they all go to the local schools so a lot of them are in the same yeah. classes and so we're very lucky yes There's, you know Although some have gone to university now haven't they so that's very true three have gone to university yeah. karen's eldest two have gone to university and my um eldest son has gone they've to just university. gone so that's quite exciting so, yes so they've gone back after christmas now so we miss them very much we do miss them a lot mm. um so, oh, we were saying, oh, so, yes. because basically I out, didn't really it? like, I used to work in PR and I, I just wasn't very good at it. Um, they used to give me clients that wanted to keep out of the press because I was a bit better at that. And um, I just wasn't really enjoying it. So, you know, we started having kids and I, I guess really I thought, well, I'm going to have to go back to work if I don't have another kid. So, and then I got to four and thought, I can't really do this anymore. So, and my husband said, you really... You really need to get a job. Um, so we opened a shop. So we opened a shop. <laughs> not a good idea, really. No, not a good idea if you want to make any money. No. No. <laughs> but anyway, it kept us busy. <laughs> Very busy. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so we had our lovely shop called Miss Moon, which was in St Margaret's, which is this little bit of Twickenham that we live in. And it was lovely, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and we had some lovely, very funny people working for us. Yes, a nice we did. team yes, of, we did. and I'm sure the they wouldn't mind me saying, of, yes. Um, individuals, yes, all, all very individual things. and all quite eccentric. Yes. and um, we're still in touch with virtually all of them. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, yeah and yeah, they're yeah. lovely. Some of them are very good friends. Yes, yes. And um, but really, we weren't really very good at running a shop, were we? I think that's really unfair, actually. I think it's very, very difficult to run a shop with, uh, you know, each of us having four young children. Yeah. It's extremely time-consuming, and um, we didn't have any childcare or anything, so... No. Um, when we started, my youngest was... I can't even remember how old she was. She was two, I think. She was two or three, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we had very young children, so it was it was very difficult. And working Saturdays as well, four days Saturdays is quite hard. Yeah. Uh, so yes. Um, but anyway, we started. Um, sorry, but mm, we started making our own wool, didn't we? Well, we did because when we had the shop, people would come in and go, 
oh I just want a simple scarf or I just want I just I don't want that I just want this and so we started designing things for our customers that they could um, make using other people's yarn mm. and then we we had a lot of designs and they sold quite well people seemed to like them and then we thought actually maybe we should just have our own yarn to do our own things with yeah and yeah. we met a lovely man called John who helped us source the fibres. Yep. So it's um, made from, it's made from, uh, with, uh, having ethical yarn is very important to us. And it's made from 80% um, uh, superfine merino, which is ethically sourced and non-mulesed. And 20% um, baby alpaca, yep. which is also ethically sourced. Um, by its nature, it tends to be yeah. a more ethical product anyway. So... That's all very exciting, isn't it? It is. Mm. And so we, the first thing we launched was Plump, which is a super chunky yarn. And I think we launched it in 2014, did we? Might have been 2013. Yeah. Anyway. It might have been 2013. It's quite a long time yeah. ago. We yeah. had 14 colours initially. Mm. And, um, yeah. Or named after. So we're going to name after cocktails. We try to be clever, but we couldn't really think of... Cocktails, enough cocktails, no. enough cocktails and, and we were thinking we needed to add probably add more as we were going to add more colours. So we uh, uh, ended up with sweet foods, which we think works really well. Yes. So they're all named after sweet foods. Um, uh, so we've got, you know, cherry pie, blueberry muffin, fondant fancy, yeah. and things like that. The, the greys were more problematic. Yes, there's not much grey food out there, especially not, not, sweet, not sweet grey food. No. So we... Went uh, branched out into teas because mm. teas is quite important to um, mm. if you're having well, sweet food. It is, yes, yeah. it's quite an important part of sweet food. Yes. Um, so yes, so that's slightly cheating, but um, yeah. So we've got Earl really. Grey and Darjeeling, and then we have got a licorice, haven't we? No, we have no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should yeah. save. Maybe we should do a video about all the things that have gone wrong. <laughs> that could be our next video, because that's quite amusing. We've got quite a few things that oh, went wrong. That's just a bit too depressing. But, well, then we can launch our new colours. Yeah, and yeah. an amusing story about licorice yeah, yeah, and yeah, other, yeah. and creme yeah. caramel. Yeah. And what was it? Clotted cream. Clotted cream mm. was another one. Anyway. I don't know how long this first video should be. Do you think we should talk about ourselves a bit more? Do you think, do you think we should just... Well, I think this is a practice, isn't it, this one? Okay. So should we stop now? <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, I don't think it's going to get much better. Well, I don't know, but I just don't really like this bit here. Where have these gone? These very low. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like we should stop now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well.